What is up guys, my name is Sasha C and welcome back to another video. So I woke up this morning, walked outside my apartment, I live in Chicago and it's 40 degrees out and I get slapped in the face with the cold and I'm like, it's not even October yet. It's like September 27th and I'm getting slapped in the face with 40 degree weather. Anyway, it gave me the idea to do this video and provide you guys my favorite affordable, quality, simple hoodies. I know that's quite a statement, but I'm telling you, I have tried so many brands, including The Gap, Levi's, All Saint, like any brand that you can think of, high and low quality or high and low fashion, whatever, any standard, I have probably tried it. So before I get into it, I just wanna cover what I'm gonna be considering into what makes these good hoodies. I will first consider the cost, then quality, and of course, how it looks, so the fit. And I can promise you, I'm not biased at all with any of these brands. None of them are sponsoring me or anything like that. So pretty much just all my opinion and what has worked for me and what looks good on me. So without further ado, let's get into the best budget-friendly sweatshirts. So first up is a Zara hoodie. I know what you're probably thinking, Zara, oh my God, this couldn't be more basic, but Coming in at about $45.95, you get what you pay for. It's good quality. It's got a nice front pouch pocket. It's got a nice rib trim. I believe their website said it was about 63% cotton, 37% polyester. So it's got a pretty heavy feel to it. I believe all their cotton is recycled in if, you, if you care about the quality is super solid and it's nice and thick. It actually has like a lot of material with it. I know it was sometimes with like cheaper sweatshirts, the material can be a little bit too thin or feel frizzy and it'll like wrinkle up a lot. This is not the case for Zara's hoodies. These are pretty heavy and they will not get wrinkly just because there's so much material on them. In case you're wondering, I wear a size large and I'm about six foot, 170 pounds. Next up is Abercrombie & Fitch's popover hoodie. So this comes in at the most expensive on my list at $60. And yeah, I, I do agree for just a super basic hoodie that that is pretty expensive. However, this has got a nice soft fabric and I think it's probably the highest quality on this list. It features a nice drop shoulder and it has already oversized fit. And it also includes just the banded hem and cuffs. This is about 70% cotton and 30% polyester. So a little bit more cotton in this, probably why it's so much softer. And I promise you guys, this thing is really soft. It's easily the most comfortable one that I have out of all of these. Um, it literally feels like I'm wearing a blanket when I have it on. The overall quality is decent. It's not my favorite, I'd say, because it still has a little bit of a light feel to it. It doesn't really have that super thick feeling that you get with some of the more higher end hoodies. So if you're really looking for something a little bit thicker, I probably wouldn't recommend this one. But if you're looking for a really nice loungewear, maybe something that you can layer, this is one that I would 100% go with. So. Abercrombie & Fitch popover, definitely recommend. And if I didn't say the price already, this one is coming at $60. Also, I wear a size medium in this one because it is already oversized. All right, next up is H&M's basic hoodie. This one is a little bit more true to size. I actually, I actually have this in a medium and it fits a little bit more snug than the rest of the sweatshirts on my list. I believe it is 60% cotton and 40% polyester. So you still have a nice cotton feel. However, the ring spun on this makes for a really nice inner lining. If you can see, it's kind of got the netted lining on the inside, it feels pretty nice. It's got a nice jersey line drawstring. Personally, I'm not a huge fan of the strings. I prefer them probably just to have the basic cut. It's got a pretty wide ribbing and the cuffs are pretty wide. I would say this isn't like a super tight uh, cuffing hoodie. This hoodie actually comes in at $24.99. So probably the, the cheapest hoodie on my list and it continues to surprise me how it holds up. It, it's just as good of quality as the rest of them on the list. The only thing I think that it lacks in is some of the ones behind me have a nice vintage already worn look about them, whereas this just looks like a basic new sweatshirt. So you don't really get that already worn look. However, a lot of people don't really need that in the first place, so this will do 
plenty. Overall, this is really perfect for layering and at $25, I promise you it cannot be beat. And if you order one, it will last you a while. So 100% recommend H&M's Relax Fit sweatshirt. All right, so next up, this is a little bit of a less well-known brand, but it's one of the ones that I am pretty dear to because I get a lot of my stuff from them. And this is Elwood Clothing. And this is their core crew neck. Um, they call it one of their core crew necks because it's like one of the basic colors that they have. This is in vintage green, I believe. It's got a nice basic oversized fit. It's got nice baggy shoulders which includes a drop shoulder, and it already has that garment washed vintage look, if that's what you're going for. And the overall quality is fantastic. You really get what you pay for, and honestly more. It actually, the inner lining reminds me of the H&M's. It's got a nice uh, quality feel to it. It's still a heavy garment, but at the same time, it doesn't feel like too much material where it kind of bogs you down. Overall, I think this is kind of the fit that I like. It's like a perfect oversized fit. I wear this in a size medium. So yeah, going on to our last sweatshirt. It's actually something that you guys may not be interested in, but it is a vintage sweatshirt. Now you're probably like, bro, why are you including a vintage sweatshirt? And it's because I got this for like $10 and it is probably my most worn sweatshirt that I have in my closet. The color is fucking awesome. You can get you can get some nice simple graphics or you can honestly find some basic tees. This is a size large and I just wanted to show that no matter really where you're at or where you're located, there's probably somewhere that you can thrift and I 100% recommend that there will almost always have some basic sweatshirts available. So if it's possible, go check out a thrift store because they'll probably have something available. But yeah, that was my last sweatshirt to show you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a like comment what you thought or if you have any other sweatshirt suggestions. Anyway, thank you guys for watching and I will get to you on the next one. Peace.